guys gonna buy this for each other or what? I'm not buying him a thing. I don't want you to buy me a thing. Well, f you if you don't want it. But I'm not saying I don't want it, but f you, I don't want your charity. Well, I'm not giving you fing charity because you're fing ungrateful. Well, yeah, it's because you go fing make enough money to give me fing charity. I, I'm Donald Trump over here. I don't you're, need your shit. You're not fing Donald Trump. What the f are you talking about? I know, I'm not having sex with Donald Trump. You're having sex I with Donald Trump. I didn't say you was having sex with Donald Trump, you fing. You just said you're fing Donald Trump, and I'm, just, I'm not fing Donald Trump. But I said you're fing Donald Trump. What the fing are you talking about? Why are you fing starting this? We're not having a quick start. Hey, guys. Yeah. Can you just try to keep it down? It's a family, family establishment. F you! I love it. I love it when a couple buys books together. So we all gonna read it to the other one in funny cute little voices and stuff? This book is representing what you're not getting here. It's not friends, it's frenemies. So who were the best frenemies, I guess, aside from uh, the obvious here, Batman and Superman? Well, and me and Wally. I mean, I feel like, well, the Batman and Superman are, are perfect antitheses of each other, but on the good side. And that sort of makes them the perfect friend. Like, it's understandable. Every time that there's mistrust between the two, it's logical, it makes sense. They uh, are come from a character perspective, and it takes a supreme amount of douchebaggery to fuck that up. Zack Snyder. Cable and Deadpool. I like Deadpool and Hydra Bob better, though. That's, that's my favorite that's, friendly relationship. Yeah. Because one of them thinks that they are just treating the other like their bestie, and the other one is scared for his life constantly. Because every single time, Deadpool's like, hey, Hydra Bob, can I get a favor from you? Hydra Bob knows he's going to be beaten within an inch of his life, and, and maybe this is the time he doesn't get to come back from it. But he still answers the phone. I think Hydra Bob likes the punishment. Oh, you think Hydra Bob's like into it? Yeah, like I, think, on a... I think he's into it and he's getting off on Deadpool potentially calling him up and he's like, yeah, fuck yeah. Like the Wasp and <laughs> Ant-Man? So that's how he gets his rocks off. Yeah. Right. Right. I'll throw out there that, uh, while well, yes, I, I agree, the Superman-Batman frenemy thing is, is an awesome dynamic, but realistically, that really wasn't introduced until Frank Miller's Dark Knight Return, right. right? The original frenemy group, though, is, or frenemy duo, is the thing in the Human Torch. They hate each other, and yet they're, you know, they're family. They're very, in a very fun, prankster kind of way, I mean, Stan and Jack were doing it from the start. One of the very, like, two or three redeeming things about those first two FF movies, that sequence where they show uh, Ben, or Johnny pranking Ben, I thought was great. Like that captured the spirit of their relationship like perfectly to a team. If we're, gonna talk about, if we're gonna talk about frenemies though, I feel like <laughs> let's let's move away from the family okay. and maybe move into something that's like the the army or the employee relationship, and that's Guy Gardner in every other Green Lantern. I love Guy Gardner so like much. That, if yeah. his name was Mr. Frenemy, that would also yep. work perfectly yep. as a superhero name. Like he just rubs everybody the wrong way. Yeah, I mean, you're saying Johnny's a dick. Guy is a dick. Guy's the worst, but he's the, but he's the best. He's my I, favorite Green Lantern. Yeah. Well, well you're a dick. Yeah. I swear to God, high school, I wore my haircut like Guy Gardner's a bowl. And Kidding. Karma got revenge on you. For <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's another great frenemy group, and this is a little bit less about you know them not clicking, but more about social stuff. Green Lantern and Green Arrow. I was just gonna say. That. Oh my God, right? <laughs> but no, but those guys, yeah. they were from two different stratosphere of. Personality type. It was very much I mean, odd couple. Odd, odd couple, 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 but yeah. but, but along so. a very political line in a time that was really tumultuous in our nation, and mm -hmm. they got together yeah. and they had diametrically opposite opinions about. Yeah, the Green Lantern was like the straight laced kind of like beat cop kind of character, mm -hmm. and then yeah, Oliver Queen being this like freewheeling kind of hippie. I'm, I'm assuming cokehead or... I mean, no, it's... it's <laughs> wow, it's 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 you're just, it's you're just gonna assume that it's a cokehead. Nobody was there, and I don't think... I, I'm, I'm gonna say Green Arrow wasn't a huge cokehead. Nobody cokehead. that grows a mustache and a goatee like that does not do not marijuana. Do he did weed. I don't think he was doing cocaine. <laughs> he was so what you're he was saying smoking is... up, maybe. Oliver um, Queen is a gateway drug for Speedy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, may I posit for the group Rocket Raccoon and Cosmo? Oh, how is that not a Disney Pixar movie yet? It should give it time. <laughs> it'll, it'll Corporate be Brit synergy. It'll be on Disney XD soon enough. Charles Xavier, Eric Lencher, Magnus Magneto, whatever his name is these days. Those are dudes. They grew up. They were legitimate friends. Became legitimate enemies. Because, and you know, and and they depending on the editorial flop. whim, they flip flop when needed. That's easy. That's yeah. obvious. My mom knows that. Cyclops and Wolverine know. That is not just they're frenemies because a they're both X Men. They were thrust onto the same team and they had to work together. But even though right away Cyclops knew 
that Wolverine wanted to get in and do the dirty. But here's to his the lady. So Wolverine, when he gets some, is a great friend of me. When he doesn't get any, he's a creepy old man, and there's no connection. Not like the connection that Tony Stark and Captain America had, which led to the oh. Civil War. That's how you segue Team there. Tony. Team Tony. Team Cap. Oh, Team Cap. Team Tony. Have fun what? voting for Trump, dude. Yeah. Listen, no, not Trump. This is like voting Kasich. Like, it's <laughs> all about uh, responsibility. <laughs> Iron Man built himself into being a superhero. If somebody is born with a power, they shouldn't have to register. Think e about that. Exactly. And that's what Cap said. It's your civil point. liberty but being invaded. You're a, a crazy, uh, destroy the frontal lobe of a brain teenager, and I've got that power. Yeah. But then you take a good, uh, you know, social studies class, and you feel like you want to be good with people and vote for Bernie Sanders. For the next 25 years of your life, you're an upstanding citizen. You don't ever use your power for good. And then, you know, you get some terrible, you get laid off, and you're 35, and you have a bullshit college degree, and you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna go steal money from that bank. And you walk out with a million fucking dollars. That person, for 25 years, could have been known that that has the possibility of happening. They made that choice. Right, 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 but you said it right there. It was the choice. It wasn't the power, because they could have gone and just done it with a gun. Right. True. The problem is, the choice, so you don't need to be registered because of that. Mm -hmm. But okay, but but it's not like anyone could just go buy a gun. Oh. Yeah. 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 Marvel is Marvel has proven anybody could go buy a gun because look at the arsenal of the Punisher. That guy has stupid amounts of gun, and not a single one is registered. So registration didn't matter. That's you know I, I would. But ch no no mm -hmm. Punisher is Marvel's tea partier. So we're talking about Daredevil and Punisher, which are on the top of the front of me list. <laughs> Two dudes who both want justice. And they cannot skirt reconcile. The line. They, they skirt. They, they both skirt are that literally line. just nope. on the edge of that line. Yeah, Daredevil beats the crap out of people and doesn't take it that far enough. See, that, that's the thing. They both skirt the same line, mm -hmm. and there one is just that extra step over it because Punisher has even said it. You're just me on a bad day. Exactly. exactly. But it's well, not though because the Punisher does not have the ability to raise a thin line. Wow. The, the, God damn it. Preempt moves. He doesn't have the. Buy your own He's fucking not, book. God damn it, Pablo. Fuck that quote. You, know, you, you just I'm not going to buy the book. You just no, cost no, us no, a man. sale. You the just lost, you lost, lost, cost lost, us a sale. sale. You just lost a sale. We're frenemies now. All right? Fuck you. Hey, fuck you. The quote doesn't make sense. Stealing this. Bye. Thank you guys for watching another episode. What are you uh, doing to me? Friendship is magic. Magical. You guys are the fucking worst. Uh, thank you to Golden Apple Comics for letting us shoot here. Get the fuck off. Best comic shop in LA. You, you can find Joe. Comics. You can find Joe on Joe on Joe, the podcast all about G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe every week. And episode Joe. By episode. You can find Pablo, Wildcat Sports. There's wrestling. You and won't find me there, but you'll find what, what I do there. So check it out. Yeah, great. Wrestling. I didn't... Wally, why? Why am I on a channel with you? Fuck you. Friendship, Friendship is magic. I'm uncomfortable. The Wally.